hello everyone and welcome to another video so today in this video we're taking a look at these corner cramps uh, i bought these for uh, building aquariums and holding the glass panels together but you can also use them for a variety of applications if you are into woodworking and making uh, frames so this is how they came in there was no retail packaging and the one that i've got is from cravato but they are available from different brand names with different uh, manufacturing brand names so as you can see, this is, they, there is also some uh, information about the people who are probably importing this in India. They are obviously made in China. Alright, so as you can see, this is how the clamp looks. And for these clamps, I paid about uh, 700 rupees for total number of uh, 4 clamps. Now these types of corner clamps are also available in metals in which you have to screw in to tight uh, your uh, material that you want to clamp together at 90 degrees uh, i think these types uh, these this part which is moving left to right is uh, available in different angles but the one that i've got is the 90 degree version only so it will attach your wood or glass uh, with an angle of 90 degrees now measuring the clamps as you can see the total length of the clamps is about uh, three inches and the thickness of the clamp is about total uh, about two inches now the maximum material it can accommodate is about uh, 20 millimeter on both the sides so that is 20 uh, plus 20 that gives you 40 and if you are using uh, uneven size of material let's say I've got this wood which is thicker but on the other side I can attach uh, this one so let me just do that so as you can see this is also it can be done you can see the on one side I've got uh, this thicker material the other side i've got the uh, thinner material so this triangular part as you can see this adjust left or right depending upon the material that you're using the thickness of the material that you are using uh, but if you're using equal material on both the side uh, the maximum that you can stretch this is about 20 millimeters and even that is a little difficult because the clamp is really really tight i thought uh, the spring is going to be very uh, thin and would uh, would not hold much but uh, apparently the spring is very strong my hands were getting really really tired after using this a couple of times so there is that as as i've just mentioned this thing slides left and right to accommodate different thickness of the wood and on wood it's not as smooth as it is on smooth on glass so on glass uh, this thing slides very easily because this is made of plastic and glass is very smooth so it slides really easily but however on wood uh, you'll have to wiggle it uh, around a little bit but after it is on there it's very easy to work with and you can make frames window frames or make cabinets with it so for about 700 rupees i got these four clamps uh, one clamp cost me about about uh, 175 rupees which was a little expensive in my opinion considering you're getting a piece of plastic but it uh, the build quality is substantial i thought it the plastic is going to be really really bad uh, apparently it is not that bad they are very strong and this part is removable so you if you want to remove uh, this rubber part you can uh, in fact remove this to increase the to increase the thickness that you can get here however i like to keep this on because i am mainly working with aquariums and i don't want to scratch my aquariums while building them so there is that now you can also use these clamps to make some frames and in one of my previous videos in which i made a uh, aquarium light as you can see this light that i made uh, when I was drilling the holes in the wood, it was very difficult for me because holding the wood at the same time, uh, uh, drilling uh, right in the center so that uh, the hole is matched in both the pieces of wood, it was very difficult. And now I'm not very, not very strong. Holding the drill in one hand and drilling at the same time was kind of, a, I found it really difficult. I don't have a vise, so it was really difficult to do that. But with this clamp, I can easily uh, put both the woods together. And drill them the other problem uh, with the drill uh, sorry with the clamp is that not really a problem but these are very very tight so for up to 15 uh, millimeters of wood or uh, glass as you can see and this is about uh, 17 or 18 millimeters wood but anything above 17 millimeters you will find it very difficult to squeeze this i think 18 millimeter is the limit and it's very difficult to bring this back uh, to that the spring is really really tight and uh, my hands were getting really really tired after doing this for just about one or two times so there is that but with this clamp now it is uh, a little easier for me because i can simply uh, put one uh, wood here and then i can get the other one wow. 
So as you can see, it's done now and I was able to do this with relative difficulty because the clamp is very, very tight. As you can see, I'm holding the wood right from the end and it's not budging at all. It's not going anywhere. And I don't have to worry about holding the wood together and I, now I can easily drill this without having to worry about uh, this wood separating while drilling. So this is a little easier now. But the problem is if you're using any the wood any thicker than 15 millimeter it, it can hold about us uh, 19 to 20 millimeter i guess but having to squeeze the trigger above that is really really difficult i was struggling with both of my hands and this is about 16 or 17 about 17 millimeter wood and even this wood was very difficult to get in so anything 15 millimeter should be easy uh, on wood but on glass it would be much easier because uh, it is much easier to uh, this plastic part slides really well on the glass so uh, it must be a little easier on the glass so there is that and now you can and if you are into making frames you can easily make 90 degree frames and i think these types of uh, uh, clamps are available in different angles so you can decide what you want to make with these clamps now the most important reason i bought uh, these clamps is for making aquariums and holding the glass panels together while the silicone is drying a little bit now i'll tell you a story about this tank now this is a one point one and a half foot tank cube so basically every side is equal so it is a 1.5 uh, foot uh, high and 1.5 feet in length and 1.5 feet in the uh, depth or the breadth i built two of these tank at the same time and when i was building this tank i literally almost i was literally crying when i was doing that that is because of two reasons the glass panels were very very heavy and the other problem was uh, when you get the glass from a glass shop uh, you tell them to grind the panels because if they are grinded properly they will sit on the base properly and they will not slide off in either direction the problem was the left panel was not properly grinded and it kept sliding off of the base on the to the left side i tried different things but nothing was working somehow i was able to uh, coop up enough uh, mental strength but i was able to finish the tank uh, without any issues i used some books on the left hand side i used some books on the uh, base behind the base and somehow i was able to build the tank uh, i built two of these tanks so literally it was very very difficult doing this alone because glass panels were very heavy very very heavy and i wasn't very strong uh, doing that but now that i've got these clamps as you can see i can easily do this uh, with the clamps now all i have to do is uh, once i've decided where i want my panel I can simply squeeze this with one hand and this slides in really nice and it will hold the panel and as you can see uh, the spring is very very strong the glass panels are not going to go anywhere and I don't have to worry about the panels sliding uh, again so if you're building the tanks alone uh, any kind of clamp will help I'm not saying you have to get this particular clamp any kind of corner clamp is needed if you're building tanks alone so there is that so now that I've got this clamp uh, I should be able to make tanks without having to worry about too much uh, of the glass sliding off of the base. So there we go. This was my video on this uh, Gravato uh, corner clamps. These are available from different sellers, different brand names, but I think the quality and the product working is same. So you can make frames with this, wooden frames with this. As you can see, it's not very smooth on the wood because the wood catches it sometimes. Uh, it is built with plastic. However, on the glass, the plastic slides really smoothly and the clamp uh, takes it uh, 90 degree position very quickly so you can also build uh, tanks with this and very versatile for making frames and holding glass panels together if you are building aquariums so with that let me conclude i hope you found this uh, video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye